Welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to create our walls for our build system so we can finally build an actual house. So let's get to it. I'm gonna open up my build mode folder and I'm going to create a new blueprint class because we need a new buildable and I'm gonna call this uh, actually the class is going to be a static mesh actor and I'm gonna call this buildable wall and in this one I'm gonna change the static mesh component to a wall simple if you think I'm doing this too fast then I would suggest you to re-watch my previous videos because I'm doing very similar things in the previous builds and in this one and one important thing that's different is I need to select my static mesh component and I need to change this mobility from static to movable because we are going to use this same actor for all of our walls the ones with the doors and the windows and this regular one as well so change this to movable compile and save and that should be it for this actor and I'm going to stack my walls on top of my floor and I'm not, not going to stack them on my buildable foundation. If you want, you can do that, but I'm going to do this only for my floor. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to add a component. And this component again is going to be a box collision. I'm going to name this wall one. And important thing now with these sizes, make sure you type X 200 and y a little bit smaller and z i'm gonna make a hundred x because if you make it like the x10 and y 200 then the walls are going to rotate 90 degrees and i don't want that so if you are using the same models as i am then you need to put this halfway if you're going to use different models you might have to adjust this a little bit differently whether it's going to be right on the edge or right after the edge of the floor now I'm gonna duplicate this wall too I'm gonna rotate this 180 degrees move over here I'm gonna duplicate one more time for wall number three I'm gonna do a rotation of 90 degrees move this over here move this into the location like that so there's like a little edge thingy and I'm gonna duplicate one more time rotate this to be minus 90 well it actually doesn't matter it could be like 270 as well I think it shouldn't really matter so that's it but from the looks of it I already can see that the bottom part is a little bit bigger than the top part which means I think the build is going to be a little low but we're gonna adjust this a little later so I'm just gonna compile and save now I need to select all of my box collision walls go to collision presets and change the custom collision to ignore the foundation and floor build channels and block the wall build channel so I'm gonna compile and save now I'm gonna go to my third person character also I didn't close my buildable floor because I have a feeling I will need to adjust these and in here I'm gonna go to the event graph here we have in the build mode we have after the sequence 2 we have this function which blocks things from being built within different objects but for the walls I want to force them to be allowed to build regardless if they are getting stacked on the floor so I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna make a new function and I'm gonna call this did build overlap I'm gonna paste this in I'm gonna connect this and now back in the event graph I can now delete this whole thing I can delete my sequence move these nodes a little closer and reconnect everything to the switch so now I'm gonna go in build foundation and I'm gonna do a sequence over here I'm gonna do a sequence and for the sec second pin well then one I'm gonna do a did build overlap 
I'm gonna copy these. I'm gonna go to my build floor and I'm gonna add the same nodes over here. So now if we compile and save, it should work the same way. If we select our buildable, we shouldn't be able to build within different objects. So now we need a new function for our walls. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna duplicate my build floor and I'm gonna call this the build wall. But for this one, I can remove these sequence nodes. I'm gonna do this thing a little bit differently. Also, I'm gonna change my line trace trace channel to wall build channel. So we would only hit the walls. And I need to make a new function for this section as well. So did we hit floor? Control W to duplicate it. And I'm gonna call this did we hit wall. I can delete the bottom part since I'm not gonna use the buildable foundation. Delete. And also I'm gonna delete these floors. And since my walls are going to be stacked on my floor, then from this buildable floor, as this buildable floor, we need to get these walls. So I'm gonna get the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Connect all of these. Make it nicer. There we go. And again, if I'm way too fast, then I suggest you rewatch my previous videos. And if you didn't watch them, make sure you do. Because I'm not doing that much of an explanation explaining uh, right now because I already explained these things. So compile and save. Now we have our build wall function. So I'm going to connect these pins number two, number three, number four. And I'm gonna drag in this did we hit wall. I'm gonna connect the actor pin to hit actor and hit component to component. Delete this, move this in the spot. It's valid, connect to branch, return value to condition, transform to build transform. So now I need to block things from, uh, I need to block the possibility to build the wall within a different object. So what I'm gonna do now is here in this did we hit wall? If this is true, then we are doing this make build ghost green and I'm gonna disconnect this false. And now if I didn't hit this uh, previous foundation sort of uh, yeah I don't know how to call these things these box collisions if I didn't hit them on the false I'm going to run this build make build ghost green function so I'm gonna copy this over here I'm also going to connect the same transform but from here I'm going to run my did build overlap function and I'm gonna actually put this here in the build system so it's going to look like this and also I need to connect my build mode delay. So now if we didn't hit this, we're going to go down here and it's going to check did we overlap. If we did hit something, it's going to make it green regardless. So. Let's check this out. Let's go to the play. Let's make a wall. So here we have a wall. And as you can see, we can't build it inside. And we can't build it at all. <laughs> yeah, of course we can't build it at all because we need to go to our event graph and we didn't set for our left mouse button. We didn't set it to be buildable for IDs number two, three and four. We have nothing. So I'm going to make this a bit bigger. I'm going to drag from the second pin. Well, it's the third pin, but pin number with the name two, I guess. Um, I'm gonna do a spawn act actor from class. And I'm gonna pick my buildable wall. I'm gonna move this here. 
for the transform again I'm gonna use my build transform and I'm gonna connect pins number three and number four as well and now the difference is, uh, is going to be just a tiny one and I'm gonna go to my variables I'm gonna drag in my buildables database from which I'm going to get my static mesh because as we can see we have our meshes here number two number three and number four IDs and I'm going to get a reference and I'm gonna use my build ID to get the correct one I'm gonna break the result and I'm gonna drag from my buildable wall and I'm gonna type set static mesh and set static mesh for static mesh component like this connect these I'm gonna move this a little bit closer like that and the new new mesh is going to be our static mesh from the buildables database and also I'm gonna connect this to my stop build mode so now it should work correctly so if we press play build a wall there we have a wall we build a door we have a door we build a window we have a window we can walk through the door awesome so now let's test out our build mode so I'm gonna build this foundation and we're going to build a house so there we go we're gonna do a door over here here it's going to be a window I'm gonna do a wall over here I could do another wall over here I'm gonna create two windows on this side and again two walls on this side so there we go we have our house awesome looks pretty cool and I'm not sure if I quite like it well actually I could do a floor over here yeah I can't move it next to it because it's blocking it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my third person character no actually I'm gonna go to my build buildable floor like I said I had a feeling that I will need to adjust these I'm going to move these up 20 pixels and I'm gonna try this again only this time I'm gonna make a bit smaller house I'm gonna do it like this so there we go I think I like this a little bit better for the entrance I could just place this on the ground mm, yeah it still doesn't want me to build it over there so I think I'm gonna use the same method for all of my buildables and I'm gonna allow to stack these regardless of anything kind of although yeah I should do this because if if our player will build a house and he can't um, add more buildables to it it's it, it's a big bummer it's a big problem for the player so I'm gonna go to my build wall I'm gonna copy this part over here and I'm gonna open up my all walls and I'm going to delete this part actually yeah, I don't really like it that way so this to false this to transform this to build delay and I'm gonna do the same thing for my foundation delete these two so I falsely created those they're actually pretty useless well you can leave the way I showed you if that's okay with your game but I just don't like it so I'm doing it this way so now if we try to place the first buildable it's going to block it from making it within the wall but we can build further on regardless of the object that's standing over here but we can't do the first build over there only if we have a build adjacent to it 
So that looks like that. Awesome. There we go. Now one more thing real quick. We don't have a ceiling. So I'm going to add a ceiling. So for this buildable floor, I'm going to duplicate one of my floors and I'm going to do a roof. I'm going to move this to the middle and I'm going to make sure that this is, I'm going to look in the transform. I'm going to move this up till Z is 400 like that. So I'm going to compile and save, go back to my third person character. I'm going to open this build floor or no, actually I don't need to use this build floor. I need to, did we hit floor and here in our floor, I'm going to drag and I'm going to get my roof. I'm going to add another equal component node, connect this to the hit component, add a new pin for my OR Boolean check, compile and save. And I believe that should be it. So if we build a floor, let's do a window, a door, let's walk inside. Let's build another floor on the top. And there we go. We have a ceiling. You can also use a different model for your ceiling. I'm using just the floor right now, but you can use different models as well. If it's not aligning perfectly, then what you need to do is you need to open up your buildable and you need to adjust these collision boxes depending on your situation and your static meshes. So that's going to be it for this video and in the next video we are going to try to implement some furniture and yeah that's probably gonna make it feel more like home. So see you guys in the next video.